everyone, this is Ari. So somebody recently asked me about my Marlowe bases uh, in terms of setup. These bases are super easy to set up. Anything that you know or uh, have used in the past in terms of setting up the curvature of the neck as well as, um, you know, getting the riders on the right height is very standard. Uh, but I do want to show you a couple of features these Marlowe bases have, uh, and one also relates to setup. So one feature I want to show you are these zero frets right here. What the zero fret is, is an additional fret right in front of the nut. This does have some influence on how the base uh, curvature is set up, but it doesn't interfere in any way. You can set the action higher, you can set the action lower. It actually enables quite a bit of low action. Now I have some bases where I tap, where I do like really low action, like on my six string concept, but I also have, um, a lot of grooving bases where I like the action quite a bit higher. So you have complete flexibility. Every single one of the Marlowe bases comes with a little pouch like this where all your tools are in there. These are European size, so you don't want to go to Home Depot if you're in the US and buy an American uh, inch sized uh, set, but these are, these are centimeters. And all of my Marlowe bases, look, you see a, um, a, a Votan here and a Contra and my Soprano and my Votan XS. They all have these features with the zero fret and they all have access, easy access to the, uh, to the neck, to fixing the neck right here. And it comes with a beautiful Allen wrench that you know, it's, it's in this pouch that you can use for setting the neck. So they all have the zero fret right here and access to the neck right here and you will just set it up like you would usually do a setup on a base. But there's a special feature that I want to show you other than the zero fret. By the way, what does the zero fret do? What it does is it enables you to play an open string and not have so much of a different sound. Because if you think about it, the fret a note, the string will ring against metal, right? And if you play then the open string, the string will ring against metal in this case because of the zero fret right so that's one of the advantages and also that it gives you some more flexibility in setting the action so that's the zero fret but there's another feature that these bases have and those are the awesome bridges these bridges are fine adjustable and i want to show you how to do that so all of my marlows the contra the votan the votan xs and um even the soprano have this amazing bridge feature. So what I do first is I loosen the string, of course, so that I get free access to my rider here. And then you would choose from your little pouch, the little one, again, European sized. And this is how you can set these. So first of all, you want to start with there are one, two, three, four, five spots where you can put the Allen wrench in. Okay. So you want to make sure that they all on the same height. You don't want it to be tilted backwards or in one of the sides because it'll eat up your string. So, but if you have some action issues, you've got a buzz or something, then after adjusting the neck, of course, you can then do the fine tuning here. Also make sure that all of them are sort of on the same plane. You don't want it to feel like you are grabbing into mountains and valleys, you know, so they should all be on the same plane and you can find adjust that here. And so with this one here, we make the front higher. This one here makes the other side of the front higher. So this one here makes the back higher, okay, like that. And then I want to fixate it so that it's in place and I do this. Now, of course, you can also move these back and forth if you need to, fin uh, to f change your intonation. You would again just open this guy here then it's movable. Always make sure, you know, back and forth. So we'll need to set the intonation on this guy when we're done. And, uh, you know, put it in place, secure it here. Make sure this is secured. I've had it happen that a string would break and this little rider falls out. And then you're on, on the dark stage floor trying to find that little rider because without it, it's no good. So I always have some spares with me. But then there's another thing that you can set on these uh, riders and that is the string spacing. See how this is a piece of metal that's sitting in this little slide here. Going in this direction here. 
righty tidy lefty loosey right and you see how this comes out and now i can set this either to the very end or closer together or somewhere in between how i like it what's particularly awesome about this is you know i play so many different concepts and i can really make them feel very very similar just by setting these distances to the exact same amount so that it feels like when i come from the four string five string to the six string they all feel very very similar so i love that feature and um if you have a marlow then you want to play with this the way gerald sets them up is always usually super golden but if you pick it up for the first time and you're wishing oh i wish it were a little bit wider i wish it were a little bit closer then this would be a good way to do it so you can set them uh right here so i hope this was helpful one of the many many reasons why i love these bases uh they are just super versatile sound terrific very easy to play and they're just beautiful you know so this is the cover cover girl of my new book right here and she looks good doesn't she <laughs> all right if you have any other questions you know where to find me i'm at arispaceblog.com cheers